All right, let's start on our shrunken apple head. I've already started peeling my apple. And just keep going. There the whole thing peeled. Then we have some salt and lemon juice here. I'm going to take our apple, I'm going to roll it around in the lemon juice to try to get it all covered. If you want, you can use a little brush to brush it. You can put your fingers in it. Just get it all, all over everything. Now that we've done that, we're going to cut out a face. And you want to make your face really, like if you're going to make two big eyes, you want to make them really deep because once the apple shrinks, it's going to um, not be as defined if they're not big. Now you can take a pencil and you can draw on it, or you can do what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to cut out it. Oh, no, it just fell off. Just like that. So, yes, this is the way this guy's gonna look. The goey's kind of got a nose there, two big dot eyes, his mouth. I'm gonna give him an ear. Okay. This guy's all cut out. So now we're going to give him another soak in lemon. And I got a Q-tip here to get into all the nooks and crannies. You really want to get in there because it's going to help not your apple not to mold and just to dry out instead. Maybe you can have a, maybe put your lemon juice in a bigger bowl. It might be easier. I think this ear might fall off once he starts drying. I'm going to get them all mixed up. And I'm going to take my salt and pour it into the lemon juice. Give it a good stir. There we go. And soak it one more time. Get the lemon juice and everything. I'm going to try this. I'm going to put that in here. Good. Now, you can take a, if you have a skewer, you can skewer the head to help you while it dries. Or what I'm going to do is I'm going to just lay it out onto a paper towel, and we will put it in a cold or warm in a warm, dry spot, and see how it goes. <laughs> 